Hey everybody, welcome to Altium Academy. I am Zach Peterson, your local technical consultant with Altium, and today we are going to look at one useful feature that was requested by a viewer on one of our other videos, and I'm actually gonna show you how to use this particular feature. This feature is importing and exporting design rules between different projects. Chromatech writes, thanks, but it would be very helpful if Altium were to provide support to import and export design rules. Defining the rules from scratch every time is time consuming and error prone. Guess what, Chromatech, you're exactly right. It is time consuming and error prone but there is a feature in Altium Designer. I'm gonna show you how to access that and use it, and that's what we're gonna get into right now. Okay, so I'm inside Altium Designer looking at a layout. If you go into the design and rules, uh, panel, or not panel, but dialogue, um, you will see obviously there is a huge number of rules in any given project, including in this project. Some of them are just the default rules. Some of them, as you can clearly see, they're set to different polygons and different values and different nets and, and oh, so on and so forth. So it can get uh, really difficult to keep track of all of this, obviously, especially in a complicated project like this. So you can see here on the left side, there's like a lot of different schematics in this. There's a total of 13 schematics in this project. So there's a lot of different nets, a lot of different rules. So if you look on the bottom side of this dialog, you'll notice there's no import and export button, right? Well, to access the export feature, just right click on the design rules section up at the top of the left uh, window and hit export rules. Now here what you gotta do is you gotta actually select different categories of rules. So if you want to just grab everything, what you can do is just control A and it selects everything. You could also just shift and click and it's going to select you know, different groups of rules. You could also do control click to just select specific ones. That's how you can grab different design rules and export them. And so what I'm gonna do is just, I'm gonna select everything and hit okay. And it's gonna bring up an option to save. I'm just gonna hit save. And um, that file is now on my desktop. Now what I can do is I can Close this, file new project. Uh, I'm just gonna call this rules import. We'll create it. Okay, so there's no documents added here, okay? And in order to get the design rules for the PCB editor into the PCB, you gotta create a blank PCB first, obviously. Go to design and rules. And you'll notice here, it's all populated with just the default rules. So I can right click import, hit select all, hit okay. And if I go to the desktop, select interceptor.rule, hit okay. And it's gonna clear all the existing stuff that is within those categories that you selected. So remember, when you exported the rules from one project, you might not have exported everything. It's only gonna import what is in that file and overwrite the existing stuff in the new file that it, you actually exported from the old project. So I'm probably not saying that very well, but it's only gonna overwrite what is in the rules file that you created from the old project. Okay, so I just hit yes, and you'll notice that some of these actually have an error associated with them. Now, why would this be? Well, you'll notice that some of these had an error in the differential pairs area. These have an error because they're being assigned to certain nets or net classes. Um, they're also assuming that differential pairs are defined somewhere in the uh, schematics. And you'll notice we don't have any schematics in this project. So some of these might come up with an error that states that it can't use it or it's a, a, an invalid file structure or some other type of error. And you'll see here that they come up as red. So it basically means that, uh, and if you look at the documentation, you'll, you'll find a much more detailed description of this, but it can apply this to an object either because the object doesn't exist, or in this case, you'll notice that it's just defaulting to a duplicate name for whatever uh, whatever's already in uh, the design rules. And if you actually click through these, not only is it a duplicate name, it's just a totally duplicate rule. So that can happen. So there will be a little bit of cleanup that you need to do but like the question said, it's time consuming to go and uh, apply all of this from scratch. So this is a much better option for actually just getting those design rules into a new project and reusing them very quickly. Okay, so that's that question. Hopefully this shows you where that feature is and how to use it and how you can use it very 
quickly and efficiently to apply design rules to a new project. All right, thanks everybody for tuning into this quick video and definitely go play with this project to help you speed up and be more efficient when you're creating your PCBs. Thanks everybody. Yeah.